So I'm here with the Celestron Edge HD with the star sense on top and I'm out under a beautiful winter night sky and this is only the second time I've really had this you know star sense system out and it was just amazing how easy it was to set up. Um, I basically just set it to horizontal uh, position. There's two little things up top here that you little marks that you place um, the telescope horizontal with the horizon um, and then there's another one down here on um, so that's the altitude axis and another one down here on the um, azimuth axis and once you have those two lined up you flip the system on um, star sense has you go through the hand controller or through your app um, if you use like uh, sky safari for example um, or celestron um, also has a, an app as well uh, where you can control the telescope via Bluetooth, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, but if you're just using the hand controller, it requires you to put it in the time and date. And once you have the time and date in there, uh, you basically just set it um, like you would normally. And the telescope finds its way um, using alignment stars and this little camera up top here, which is called the Star Sense Auto Align. And when the Star Sense Auto Align is finished, uh, you just plug in the coordinates of anything that you're interested in observing, and it just goes there. And once you've made it past uh, that first alignment set setting, um, it's very simple. So for example, right now, I'm on M42, the Orion Nebula. And if I wanna go back, um, I can just simply click the back button. Uh, it's hard to see. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so you just click the back button here. And um, once you've clicked the back button, it prompts you star sense ready. And uh, then you can click on anything. So for example, if I want to go to Pleiades, I would click on deep sky, Messier, and then I would put zero, four, five for the M45 Pleiades open cluster. I'd click enter. There it is, M45 open cluster, I hit enter again, and it just takes off and goes there. Absolutely so simple. And the craziest thing is, you just look in there and it'll just be in the eyepiece. Bingo. Dead center on Pleiades. It's that simple and I think this StarSense Auto Align feature is probably one of the most user-friendly pieces of astronomy gear you could possibly get. It comes at a little bit of a premium, but it's totally worth it. Uh, it gets you up and running, especially if you're new to astronomy. Um, I've been doing astronomy for over 14 years, and I still find it to be a joy to just be able to come out here. Um, it's a beautiful night, as you can see. The stars are uh, just rock solid. Um, the seeing is actually pretty good. It wasn't supposed to be the greatest of seeing tonight, but it turned out to be pretty good seeing. And I'm just going to take the rest of the night uh, to observe. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.